Hi, and welcome to another head-to-head -head video. So who we got going head-to-head -head in this video? Okay guys, so we got these two stable mates, the Club Biscuit and the Penguin Biscuit, both made by McVitie's. But I'm not so sure this one originally was made by McVitie's, the club. Might be wrong. Right, let's take a look at some history. So let's fire up the old tippy tappy. We'll go history of the club biscuit. Now, before I uh, click enter, I'm going to have a guess at what year these were released because I get it wrong every time. Now, again, they were around when I was a kid, so I know they were definitely around in the 80s, almost certainly in the 70s. But I just got a feeling, I don't know, I just got a feeling they weren't around before the 70s. I got a feeling both these come about in the 70s. But that is a, just a guess. That's just a hunch. I do not know. Let's take a look. So, the Club Biscuit. Club Biscuit, again, we'll go on Wikipedia. Right, Club is a range of chocolate covered biscuits sold in Ireland under the Jacobs brand name and in the UK under McVitie's. Ah, so uh, so Jacobs in Ireland. I wonder if they were the originals. Yeah, it looks like it. W and R Jacob and company started producing the Club Milk Biscuit in Dublin just, oh, well, I'm wrong again, just before the outbreak of World, World War One. Thought it was gonna say two. It became a popular black brand across Ireland. The confection consisted of two rectangular ma Marie biscuits forming a filled sandwich using a co cocoa or cocoa cream, then covered in thick milk chocolate. Each bar was wrapped in foil and then further wrapped in a paper outer wrapping. Mm, that ain't what they are now. They're just, I mean, they used to be like biscuit with loads. I mean, the slogan or the little tomb was, if you like a lot of chocolate on your biscuit, join our club. They had a nice big old thick layer of chocolate on, didn't they? There weren't no sandwich filling in them. So... Jacobs originally used images of playing cards from the club suit to illustrate and to advertise the new biscuit. The club name was therefore a reference to this suit. Development in Great Britain. It is unclear exactly when club milk biscuits were first imported to England, perhaps beginning informally owing to the trade route between Ireland and the English port of Liverpool. Jacobs had already established a factory in Liverpool in 1914 and subsequently began producing the club milk there. In 1970, the Irish and British parts of the Jacobs company split into two firms. The club biscuit had by this time become popular throughout Great Britain and was marketed in five varieties. Wow, in 1970. The original club milk made with milk chocolate was joined by a club plain made with plain chocolate. The term club was expanded for this new product with a golf ball. God, I vaguely remember that. Used to illustrate the wrapper rather than the club suit of cards. Two, two flavoured versions, club orange and club mint, were made by adding flavouring to the cocoa cream. The club fruit variant included raisins in the cocoa cream between the two biscuits. A further club honeycomb variety 
follow. So, so it says on here, milk chocolate covered crunchy biscuit with a salted caramel flavor cream. So there is cream in them. Why, do, why am I thinking there's not? But there's got to be in there to get the flavoring in there. And I'll have a good look at this. It must be just under the top, I reckon. Um, although it says between the two. Oh, I don't know. Shows how much notice I take. <laughs> During the late 2000s and early 2010s came clubs, club cake bars. Well, we don't want to know about that. Um, so what, when did McVitie's come on the scene then? In September 2004, the Jacobs brand was sold by Dan Ohm or Dan One to British based United Biscuits, who restored some of the traditional elements of the club biscuit, including the two layer packaging with an inner foil wrapper and an outer paper wrapper. Yep, that's still there. At present, they have not returned to the double biscuit structure of the bar itself. The Irish part of the company sold to Fruitfield Foods to form Jacob Fruitfield Food Group, which has led, which has led to legal battles over the use of the Jacob's brand name. From 2013, United Biscuits rebranded the product as McVitie's Club using the Jacobs brand for savoury biscuits and McVitie's for sweet products. What? So McVitie's don't actually own this? Is that... What? Aren't McVitie's a company then? Or is the parent... Excuse me. Is United Biscuits the parent company of McVitie's, I would assume? <sighs> Anyway, right, so we got the club biscuit, or club milk, which had a red wrapper, is now discontinued. The club plain, which had a mid-green wrapper, discontinued. Club orange, long-term flavour, don't say when it was... Um, introduced club fruit club mint and then you got your club coffee launched in the 80s now discontinued club wafer launched in the 80s now discontinued and the club chocolate um launched in the 90s now discontinued i don't remember any of them Club Honeycomb, never seen it, launched in 2012. And the Club Caramel, which is this one, launched in 2022, last year. Wow. Well, there we go. So that is the Club Biscuit. I don't think we need to go looking at any more of that. Right, what about the Penguin then? So I got that seriously wrong. Yet again, these chocolate bars were introduced way before I thought they ever were. Like, that was like before World War I. 1914. Before that. Wow. Never would have thought that before looking into all this. Right, let's have a look at the old penguin. I'm... I'm I don't even try and guess what year that is. It's surely gonna have to be newer in it. Right. History of the penguin biscuit. Is this the right one? I think it is. Right, penguins are milk chocolate bars filled with biscuit and chocolate cream. They are produced by Plaidy's manufacturing division, McVitie's, at their Stockport factories. I probably said that wrong. Plaid, Plaid eyes or 
Pladis, P L A D I S. Pladis, Pladis, is that how you pronounce it? Oh, I don't know. Right, William MacDonald founded MacDonald Biscuits in Glasgow in 1928 after seeing some biscuits from Antwerp. He was inspired to create a chocolate covered biscuit with a chocolate cream sandwich in the centre. They were first produced in 1932 and became a McVitie's product after McDonald was ta taken over by United Biscuits. So yeah, they obviously are the parent company of McVitie's. In 1965, each wrapper has a joke or funny fact printed on it. We'll have a look in a minute. And imaginative often humorous designs featuring penguins that often what partiche famous works of art pastiche I didn't heard of that word before right let's have a look at this what is that that often pastiche famous works of art what is that word I've never heard of that word <laughs> I'm a Roy Divi I'll tell you Roy, here we go. Where's the joke then? Oh, there is one. How does a penguin build its house? It glues it together. <laughs> oh. oh no, it glues it together. Christmas cracker jokes, aren't they? Cool to bloom an egg. Right, okay. The Tim Tam produced by Arnett's in Australia and first sold in 1964 was based on the penguin. Occasionally, media references include tongue in cheek debates over which is a superior biscuit. During the 1980s, the penguin brand became known for their television. Advertising slogan, P -p -p pick up a penguin. Yeah, we all remember that. In October 1996, the penguins were the subject of a court case between Asda and United Biscuits, who accused Asda of passing off their own brand, Puffin Biscuits, as part of the penguin brand. In March 90, 1997, the court found in favour of United Biscuits regarding passing off, but found that Asda had not infringed the penguin trademark. United Biscuits had been criticised for continuing to use trans fatty acids in the cream filling of penguins. By December 2007, United Biscuits began to advertise the absence of trans fats from penguins, having removed the ingredient from the product line. Well, there we go. So types are four variations of the biscuit. You've got your chocolate, your orange, your mint, which obviously knew about them but there's a toffee version didn't know about that cool i wouldn't mind trying that one well there we are so what was the year first produced in 1932 and mcvitie's bought them out in 1965 so got that horribly wrong again didn't i Right, guys, well, there we go. There's a bit of history about them. Now, of course, both of them have suffered the old shrinkflation. Shrinkflation. I mean, they were never like the size of like Mars bars or Snickers were back in the day, but they were definitely bigger than this. I mean, what are they? I think that's 22 grams. Um, because these come out of multi-packs that's not actually saying on the I'll have a look at the, the wrapper on the multi-pack but you know it's similar it's probably maybe slightly bigger now I, I think I prefer these but I'll try them in a minute and, and see which one I do actually prefer um, but these were definitely bigger. Well, they both were. I remember these were fairly big as well. 
I mean, they were probably back in the day, probably about that high and about that wide, I'd say. These, again, probably about that what long, about that wide, I'd say, and a bit thicker. I, I, I did review this one a week or two ago and I did notice they have, there's probably not as much chocolate on them as they used to be, but they are still fairly generous with the uh, chocolate compared to other brands. All right, here we go. Yeah, definitely. There is a, yeah, but not as chunky as I used to be. Right, let's have a go on the penguin. Go oh, I ain't had a penguin for ages. So this is just a standard original one, this is. I can get into it. Definitely prefer the club. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely prefer the club over the I still can't really see whether I think that is just between the top of the biscuit and the chocolate on the top I think I think that must be where the flavouring is the caramel flavouring so there we are guys that is another head to head um, so yeah which is your favourite? I would definitely pick the Club Biscuit. Definitely. Um, so yeah. Which one's yours? Get in the comment. Let me know. Can you remember them back in the day? How big were they? I wish they, they wrote down the size. You know, the, the weight of each bar. I'd love to know what size them bars were back in the day. I mean, wagon wheels, I remember wagon wheels used to be massive. They used to be like that, wagon wheels. Now they're like that. They used to be like that. Huge things. But I'd love to know what size they used to be and what weight. Okay guys, so there we go. That is another head-to-head -head video and uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I hope you'll join me again soon on another one. Take care guys. Right, I think I'm going to have a go on this. Oh, oh. oh lovely old lovely. Nice with a cup of coffee. Oh, lovely. <laughs>